cave art can speak to us like nothing else. A distant echo from an ancient world with no written language. And since the discovery of the famous Lascaux rock art in France in the 1940s, the hunt has been on to find similar rock art in Britain. Archaeologists scoured the walls of caves like these but found nothing. And they put that down to Britain being such a challenging environment back then that people were just surviving, clinging on to existence with their fingernails. They didn't have time for frivolities like rock art. That belief was turned on its head by discoveries made in this cave, where I met Ian Wall. He's an archaeologist and director of Cresswell Crags. Okay, after you. Thank you. So you're, you're now standing at the level that uh, we think our prehistoric ancestors were. So I can see a few scratches on the walls. Yes. Would you like to come and stand here and I'll, uh, I'll show you. This is one of the first figures that was discovered in, in 2003. But you can just pick out some fainter engraved lines here. At first, I struggled to see what Ian was seeing, but gradually, an image emerged. This is the, the top of a neck of an animal. Yeah, all right, you're convincing me. And the ear. And coming down here... That's right. A mouth. Is that's that a right, mouth? yes, yeah. yes, and that's the chin running underneath. Is this yeah. a leg down here? Is it coming down to a leg? Yeah, that's right, the legs here. That's remarkable. There it was appearing right before my eyes, the image of a deer. We can imagine perhaps how important this creature would have been to our ancestors. It was almost certainly one of the things that kept them alive. So how do you know that that is Ice Age? Crucially, you get these deposits of uh, flowstone, it's redeposited calcite, and that forms a, a thin skin of deposit and sometimes that lies over the top of these engraved lines. That's this, that's this white area That's here. right, yes. Yeah. And uh, that can be dated um, fairly precisely with a technique called uranium series dating. Right, so if you can date that flowstone, then if the engravings are underneath it, they must predate it. That's right. Yeah. So how old is that flowstone? So it's roughly around 13,000 years old. So we really are looking at... I say art. Yes, that's the clincher. This is the oldest rock art to be found anywhere on these islands.